after moving to Sunset Cove, I got to wondering who really was in control of my life. Certainly not my mum, though she was acting real strange. But was that anything new? From now on, I'm watching you. She hadn't lifted a finger to get her only child out of jail when I was falsely accused of stealing the hubcap of a police car. Benny, no, no. But it's a shiny one. Look, you can't do this. Is that a hubcap? Uh, uh, hub but someone had. One moment I was eyeballing a 10-year stretch in Sunset Coast Swampland, and then suddenly I was free to go wherever I pleased. But that was nothing compared to when the editor of the school website mysteriously vanished. Divided by one galactic light year, it was. Ah, no. Where are you, my brothers in skin? By the great Fanor, where are you? Twenty-seven. Uh, 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 by the 14th of eight over the equator's denomin. The spot. <laughs> For no. Dawn patrol! Dawn patrol! Dawn patrol! Dawn patrol! Dawn patrol! Oh yes, sir! Assemble the man. Ready to move. Patrol! Where are you going, dear? Don't worry your precious little head, my dear. This is soldier's business. What are you doing? If I told you that, my angel, I'd have to eliminate you. Just remember you're not allowed outside, especially near public utilities. The fools. Phone booths don't scare me. Normandy, Wajima, Guadalcanal, Acapulco, I've seen them all. If the rumors are true, I'll be needing a new editor. Of course, there's only one possible candidate, moi. What's she saying? Ugh, some dumb stuff about school website. Isn't that where spiders live? A website? Listen up, scumbags. Any of you kids know anything about the mystery disappearance of the editor of the school website? No. OK. There will be an election to replace him. Nominations must be submitted by lunch hour. So far, we have one contender, Giles Gordon. What? Me? No, no, no it's, a, it's a mistake. Wait. You think you've got what it takes to beat me? You worm, you don't stand a chance. It wasn't me. I, I didn't nominate me. Then withdraw or be crushed. <laughs> You don't have to be a conspiracy nut to figure out who's behind this one. I think. And Giles, you're so innocent. Oh, Giles, you're so innocent. Sergeant! Sergeant, sir! Dismiss the man. Confine the barracks. Sir! Meanwhile, the enemy are free to wreak havoc, chaos, and destruction on this fair land of ours. What's wreak, dear? It's uh, what you do with uh, havoc, chaos, and destruction, dear. Oh, right. Who are they? What are they? Where are they? What evil web of mayhem and corruption are they hatching now? What's mayhem, dear? It reminds me of the great well of Zorus in the Orion Cluster. Nebula? Negative, Commander. Its molecular structure is none that I have ever seen. Qualities? Extremely delicate, yet incredibly strong. Not logical. What is in this crazy world? 
Arachnids, of course, are far more numerous than you human beings. Uh, we human beings. Oh, let us take the humble spider. It is generally accepted. Bow out, nerd, or be eliminated. That some species navigate by instinct. Sorry, you think Sabrina put me up for the election? What's an election? It's a conspiracy to trick people into thinking they've got to say. Got to say what? No, oh, forget it, Benny. You're better off not knowing. But, but why me? It's obvious. You're the phone guy. But I don't get it. Well, it's not much of a contest if only Sabrina stands, is it? As I was saying, she needs another candidate. It's got to look right. But she has to be sure she wins. So, she picks somebody who doesn't stand a chance. Like you. Oh, I see. The spider's web. So fragile and yet so strong in its own world. Beanie? What's that? Imagine being caught up in its clinging, clutching labyrinths. Wait, wait, wait. This is it. It's a web made by a spider. What's a spider? Find out. Turn you out of her fast. It's no good. She won't check. Zero, I'm trying to tell my fastest. They're totally down. We're free. Hey, it's the, uh, condemned man. Oh, so you, um, heard about the election? <laughs> it's all over school. You're gonna get wasted. So, are you not gonna vote for me then? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look, get out of here. You're a specky geek. I told you. Sophie, would, uh, wouldn't you vote for me? <laughs> well, ordinarily, I'd like to vote for someone who's smart, intelligent, and alert, like you, Giles. But you're a specky geek. I'll vote for you, Giles. Whatever that means. You're right. It's a, it's a setup. I, I'm not going to stand. Giles, you're ready to quit, sucker. No way, sister. He's going to kick your butt. Yeah, kick your butt. Whatever that means. What, Jet Beanie? I... In that case, things could get very messy for you, Giles. You can't quit now. Why not? Because you're caught in the web of a conspiracy. you got to play it out. What, what conspiracy? I told you, Sabrina's. But, look, okay, look, Jet, okay. If Sabrina wants to set me up so she can beat me in the election, okay, okay, why does she want me to quit now? She doesn't. She needs you to stand. But that doesn't make sense. Giles, Sabrina knows you're a weak quitter. So she's just trying to row you enough so that even you can. You all heard about Giles Gordon? He doesn't even have a credit card. Hey. Hey. Okay, it's not that I can't have one. It... I just heard the news. Oh, I'm so proud. My baby editor. Mom, please. But I... first, you have to ditch this bunch of freaks and no-hopers. They're bad for your image. Where are my friends? It's great, honey. But it doesn't alter the fact they're a PR disaster. <laughs> Disaster. That is it. That is it. Okay, I don't want to stand, and I'm not going to stand because I hate elections, and I never want to be a candidate for anything ever again. So I'm like, so out of here. It's the pressure. Giles, can I have a moment? Fabia, sure. I um. Uh... It wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I just wanted to say how glad I am you're running for editor. You are? Of course. You'd be ideal. Much better than Sabrina. I would? <laughs> She'd turn it into a glorified fashion catalogue. She would. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yes, yes, she, she would. And you can beat her, Giles. I know you can. What a complete idiot. There I was, ready to forget the whole thing when, wham, Octavia. You've got to beat that fashion freak, Giles. We'll help you campaign. Yeah, Giles, we'll help you campaign. Whatever that means. It says here that spiders commonly leave their prey in their webs for ages until they're hungry. You full size. I used to eat that kind of thing for breakfast. No matter. I think we're we'll helping find out just what that feels like. <laughs> oh, stop whining. 
thing. But, Mom, I'm not going to win. Your attitude stinks. This election is your chance to make a name for yourself. Yes, as a no-hoper. So, it's your chance to let people see that even if you are a specky geek no-hoper, you're still a Gordon. You have a family tradition to uphold. What tradition? You don't know. The Gordons come from a long line of no-hopers from way back. Why, your old great-grandpa Pappy Gordon invented no-hoping. And you're not going <laughs> to blow it. Ah, up with we taking me. Therapy. Oh, well, I quite like my visits to Dr. Leakes. What's the matter, Giles? Uh, well, you're wearing a, a, a dress. What do you expect a therapist to be wearing? A red bikini? <laughs> Can we start? What's the use? I mean, I'll just get started and you'll tell me I've got 10 seconds to get out or you'll call the cops, you know, as, as usual. <laughs> no, I'm getting used to all this weird stuff people tell me. So go on, I'm interested. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dr. Lee's can I ask you a, um, a question? Shoot. You're a Freudian or a Jungian? Don't get fresh, Giles. Hello, can I help you? Sabrina, I I is there a problem? This jerk, Giles, this gumber, he's muscling in on my action. How can I help? I want the staff's 100% support 24-7. Use of all facilities, a substantial donation into my campaign fund, plus that broad veto in her PA system, telling them to vote for me every five minutes. But Sabrina... Remember, who keeps you looking good at discount prices? I could switch off the supply like that, and you'd be out of style. Check. Well, I'm, I'm in a no-win situation because if I stand, I get wiped out, and she sees me as the loser I really am, or if I don't, she... Well, she thinks I'm a coward. Uh, Dr. Biggs? <laughs> Coming soon is the big game. Now, I know that's what I always say, but this time, I mean it. This game is big. B-I-G... G... Big. I want you perfect, not a hair out of place, not a knee undimpled. I need the cheerleaders on my election squad. Here, get them to chant this. Right, let's hear it from the top, loud and clear. Five, six, seven, eight. Vote Sabrina. There ain't no meaner. Vote Sabrina. There's no one supremer. Boom. Boom. Pocahontas! Four Four Bambi! Four uh, Sir! That be stopped! Damn charades for grown soldiers. If you have them doing embroidery in it, damn. Impulse strikes back! This is it, Lieutenant! It sounds like a commander! Oh, 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 we, we never really saw it! Oh, I don't want to say anything! <laughs> Allison, my little Dracula! Oh, oh, oh. What you need, no the oxygen of publicity. Sabrina. What he no needs is the methane of bad mouthing. Sabrina, there ain't no you leave it to me. Vote I'll get you ahead Sabrina. in the polls. No Mom, let vote Dennis help you, Giles. How many times it's Dorothy? No Dorothy Morrissey, when did you dig up a name like that? I had no hope. I wasn't one of the beautiful people. Looking good. I face humiliation on all sides, at home and at school. What a nightmare. Thinking about checking it in. What if I am? Shame. Octavia will be really disappointed. Too bad. You know, being in love with her is not a good reason for holding public office. Oh, isn't it? Oh, grow up. I mean, suppose by some miracle I win, I might be hopeless. You're selling yourself too short. 
nearly as short as me. That'd be even worse. To win, I'd be a dork at the job. Listen, you're giving me an inferiority complex. Any chance I could meet up with Dr. Legs? No. He's far too old for you. Yeah, whatever. Listen, if you wimp out now, Octavia will have no respect for you. Neither will I, or Dorothy, or Jet, or Beanie. Okay, okay, I'll do it. it. Must be crazy. I mean, I'm taking on the most powerful girl in the school. But the kid was right. It was my big chance. Next morning, I was ready to seize the election by the throat and wrestle it into submission. I set my team to work. Jet, Beanie, and Don, the only member of the staff that support me. Fuck the girl! It wasn't a pretty sight. Vote Giles! Vote Giles! Why? Because he's my friend. Vote for Giles! Even though the election is a sham, a farce, a fraud, vote for Giles! Listen up, happy diners. This is Dorothy, the lady with the ladle. Vote for Giles for extra puddings. Vote Sabrina for warmed over leftovers rescued from the trash. Mom, what, what are you doing? Honey, you need all the help you can get. The final nail in the Vote coffin. For Giles. Whatever credibility I possessed was gone forever. Vote for Giles. And for what? Giles. To impress Octavia? Giles. Some hope. Ma'am! How's this going? Ma'am! Uh, why, that's beautiful, soldier. You must be very sensitive. Octavia, you okay? I'm fine. Doesn't look like it to me. If I knew you any better, I'd say you would have friends. It's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. I'm your father, remember? I remember. That's better. Just because I spent a lot of time saving this great country of ours, doesn't mean I don't care. When you're in combat, your men are your family. At home, your families. Family. It's the election. It's cool. My side's going to lose. Who's the opposition? We'll wipe them out. No, Dad. That wouldn't be fair. Hmm. We'll kidnap them till after the election. Then we'll intimidate the voters. You could be assured. Thanks, Pop. But that's anti-democratic. Anti-democratic? No, I don't think that could be. She passed on a few years ago. Now look. You're my baby daughter. I brought you up on my knee. And what my baby daughter wants, I'm gonna make darn sure my baby daughter gets. Dad, don't forget your thermonuclear arming device. I keep forgetting that. I'm not sure what changed things. But it seemed like our message was finally getting through. Vote for Giles! There's more where that came from. Giles is your man. Vote for Giles! A vote for Sabrina is a vote for perfection. A vote for Sabrina is a vote for cool. Vote for me and you will be 100% cooler, guaranteed. There will be on-screen fashion consultancy, on-campus fashion consultancy. A vote for Sabrina is a vote for style. It's easy to be cynical, but deep down, most people know the difference between right and wrong. They want policies, not gimmicks or handouts. I fought a fair, honest campaign, and it paid off. Come election day, I was neck and neck with Sabrina. And today is gonna be hot, 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 with a high of 30 over the country. And we'll take you. I came to wish you luck. Thanks. You nervous? Uh, yeah, I'm scared too. What of? Um, winning. See, see, losing I can handle, because I'm used to it. I can just, um, slip back into obscurity, but if I win, there's no escape. The very fact that you have those doubts means you'll make a great leader. You think? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, funny, because 
I bet um, Sabrina wishes she never nominated me now. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina didn't nominate you, silly. Then who did? Oh, it was you. But why? I think you'd make a great editor. Oh. <laughs> but I got a dash. I have to finish a paper on astrophysics for NASA, help the World Health Organization cure a rare tropical disease, and rehearse for Carmen at the Met. All before bedtime. What are you? <laughs> are you sure she's a girl? Well, you, you can't be too careful. The next day, I needed to reflect. I thought about the campaign. Hey, Giles. And then I thought about Octavia. And as I pondered the... Ah! Have no fear. The silver lining is here. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Sorry. Look, I'm here to tell you that I will uphold justice and the Sunset Cove way. I will guard those votes with my life. None should get past the silver lining. Twenty-five. <laughs> Sabrina, two hundred and twenty-five. It's a tie. But that's only four hundred and fifty votes. There are four hundred and fifty-one people on the register. Well, somebody didn't vote. Impossible. You'd have to be off this planet to miss this election. Who'd be dumb enough not to vote? Hi, guys. What's everybody doing here? Beanie, Beanie, you, you, you didn't vote. Come on, Beanie. You know what? No, no, Beanie. No, Beanie. Beanie. Come on, champ. You can do it. By knowing it, I became a spy for the agency. Summertime. 